Donald Trump at his Las Vegas rally last night said that Kamala Harris had the questions to the debate and went a step further and spread the conspiracy theory that Kamala Harris was wearing an earpiece. Sorry about that. Did she get the questions? Did you think? So I hear she got the questions, and I also heard she had something in the ear, a little something in the ear. No, Kamala, do this. Say it this way, Kamala. Okay, be quiet. Too many people watch. What's totally insane about this clip is that over the past 48 hours, people have been uh, dogging on Trump, no pun intended, because Laura Loomer got off the plane with him before the debate. And Laura Loomer, if you don't know who she is, she's one of the most disgusting, vile pieces of trash in mega. And she spits racist and homophobic and misogynistic uh, garbage on a podcast. And she's constantly tweeting on Elon Musk's uh, X platform. And Trump surrogates have been going around on news shows and, and denying that Laura Loomer has any influence, despite the fact that she's on Trump's plane, uh, despite the fact that we've seen her and Trump be very close, let's just say, over the past month. Um, they say, no, 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 no. Laura Loomer has nothing to do with Trump. Trump even uh, made a, a post on True Social saying, oh, I don't, uh, Laura Loomer is just a supporter of mine with strong opinions which is, you know, I made a video about this, strong opinions according to Donald Trump, uh, like racism, <laughs> right? But hey, she loves me, so whatever. Now, these Trump surrogates have been saying, no, she proved to me that Laura Loomer has any influence on Donald Trump. Laura Loomer is the one who started the whole conspiracy theory about Kamala Harris wearing an earpiece. This is her retweet on social media after the debate. And now Donald Trump is running with it. Like the evidence is all there. Laura Loomer, a vile human being, is directly influencing a man who might be president again. And he is totally cool with that. I found a meme using images from Seinfeld that perfectly describe uh, what should be the response to any time somebody talks about Kamala Harris wearing an earpiece. And that's that. So that made Donald Trump say the batshit crazy things that he said. That's what made Donald Trump seem like the angry old man who's just running because he wants revenge. Right. Now, let's talk about the conspiracy theory that Kamala got the questions before the debate. Now, even Roger Stone was getting in on this conspiracy. This was just too smooth. It was entirely rehearsed. Yep. But you can't rehearse unless you have a script. There's no question whatsoever that she had the questions because she had all the canned answers, mm -hmm. regardless of the order that they came out. And that's precisely what happened. Yeah, when you have Laura Loomer and Roger Stone uh, giving you conspiracy theories or spreading your conspiracy theories, you know something is wrong. Now, my favorite reaction to the Kamala had the questions and why, as Roger Stone said, it was so smooth, came from a young woman on TikTok. She was given the questions beforehand. No, bitch, that's what coherence sounds like. That's what using syntactically appropriate forms and verbal speech sounds like. Did you really think that a prosecutor was gonna get on stage and choke like Trump and his little thrusty? No, 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 no. See, Kamala Harris does not have tangential speech with frequent perseverations. She is able to demonstrate appropriate topic maintenance, linear thought, and appropriate reasoning to be able to participate in a back and forth exchange like an interviewer debate. That's foreign for y'all. I get it. That's foreign for y'all. Um, so no, there was no preferential treatment given, but if we want to talk about preferential treatment, Donald Trump had the job for four years. He has the handbook. He should be able to answer very basic surface level questions about the job that he had for four years. 
The straws are tired of being grabbed at at this point. Really, y'all, get it together. What you just saw was sundowning, okay? Uh, that's related to cognitive decline in the elderly. Best you read up on it, okay? Uh, speaking of cognitive decline, the man has atrophy of his brain. I, I'm convinced, I know. Again, I'm a medical speech language pathologist. I do cognitive linguistic assessments for a living. Um, when he was administered the MOCA uh, before his presidency, which is a cognitive screener, it looked bad. It looked bad then. So you can imagine uh, what it would be now. Uh, so I, I don't know what to tell you other than to try therapy. Maybe it'll help with your coping. Yeah, of course he's in cognitive decline. And frankly, he's not that smart. Wasn't very smart to begin with. He's mentally, uh, he was mentally unfit to have the debate. He is mentally unfit running for the presidency. You can see that at his rallies. He is mentally unfit to be the president again. And it's really, he's just this, this, you know, Kamala had the questions, Kamala had an earpiece. It's an admission that he got his ass handed to him by Kamala in that debate. And it's also just an excuse for him not preparing. The fact that he's lazy, the fact that he's surrounded by crazy people like Laura Loomer, who will just tell him what he wants to hear. They are unwilling to say no to him. And so it's, yeah, before the debate, it's, yeah, Donald, you're, you're prepared. Oh, yeah, you just you say what you say in these campaign rallies. The people love it. People love it. He's lost. This, this poor guy's lost. He's old. He's lost. He's losing it. And he's surrounded by people who don't have his best interest in heart. It's also, it's, that's how he's going to govern as well, right? Going back to like just it being easy. Donald Trump will find the easy way in any situation. E easiest for him, mind you. He will throw Americans under the bus. Doesn't matter if you're MAGA. Doesn't matter if you're one of his closest Republican allies. You get in his way. If you make it hard for Donald, you will pay the price. You will pay the consequences. And that, for me, is a recipe for disaster. Again, we already saw what happened in his first administration when he had people who kind of like ignored his demands, right? A lot of the staffers who now say, my God, don't let him get anywhere near the White House. Yeah, those people are all gone and he's surrounded by the Laura Loomers who will just say, yes, Donald, whatever you want, whatever your wish is my command. We saw what happened when he had people who kind of checked him in the first administration. The second administration, if he were to win the White House, which he won't, but if he were, it'd be a nightmare. It would be a disaster.